Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to a new video on this channel. This is going to be a quick update video on the sketch version 49 bringing us the prototyping feature. I want to uh, show you a couple of new things. I'm also testing a new equipment that I'm recording with right now. And uh, I just want to uh, yeah, show you the new update and prototyping uh, possibilities. So we have our social iOS app UI kit right here. It's a pretty massive UI kit. Um, I also linked it down below if you want to buy it. Um, and we can right now create simple prototypes really easily. I'm sure a lot of you guys already tested a feature, but I still wanted to show it to you. Maybe you are considering buying Sketch uh, and I think this is going to be a game changer very soon because uh, they could really uh, become like our number one to go prototyping app in the future. So, okay, we have our button right here and we want to select the button and we can choose link and using link we can then select a destination and we can for example go for this one right here. You see we generated such a arrow link curve right there and we got a new tab right here or a new, new part um, in our uh, characteristics on the right side and it's called prototyping and it's super easy. We can say we want to go to the target artboard. Uh, we can also say that we want to create a separate hotspot layer. I will show that to you in a second and we can also remove the link. Okay, what else do we got? We can select our uh, target right there, simply choose the artboard name and we can also select the animation that is occurring. So I will show you what is happening if we uh, say that there shouldn't be any animations. We can preview it right here and you see that there is our screen. We can click continue and there is no animation changing the screens. If we go back to our linked button, then we can say we can animate the artboard and let it slide in from the right. So if we go back to our prototyping window and we hit the back arrow, we can slide it in from the right and we can choose from these different positions. I think that's pretty awesome. One thing that I didn't show you right now is the ability to create a separate hotspot layer. So now you see that we have such a hotspot right here. Uh, we have our normal button uh, group still flying around, but we have this hotspot layer. So what is this hotspot layer doing? Basically, it enables us to uh, have our normal button um, as a separate layer or as a separate group and we can choose this hotspot layer and do whatever we want. We can drag it anywhere. We can also say something like, um, okay, we can also say we want to select this uh, layer. Oh man, damn. Selecting layers in Sketch can be quite some pain, especially if you just use your trackpad. I want to show you what you can do with this hotspot layer. So you can change the position, give both of these settings 100% and you get a fully clickable artboard right there. So hit the preview button, go back and right now you see the cursor is always this hand clickable hand thing and we can click the whole screen right there. Of course, for example, if we want to click that, this uh, 30 platinum credits, we can simply also create a new link, uh, change the animation, even change the target. For example, if we um, chose the, the wrong artboard, the wrong target, we can simply choose another one and we can also preview this uh, on our screen right here. So 108, click this, click this and you're ready to go. Okay, I have a couple of things that I want to uh, like tell you because 
I love I love the prototyping feature. I love that sketch the sketch team implemented this. But I think they can work on a couple of things and improve this feature. And I think they will. So one aspect that I would really like to see is to have a user flow diagram. You see that we have our arrows and connections and our links basically right there. And imagine all these screens linked together, you would have like a huge mess and it would be awesome to just sort them, to organize them and then to uh, like export them as an image or as a PDF. Uh, for clients or maybe you want to print it out and want to show it to your uh, product manager and collaborate on different approaches and ideas. It would be just awesome to export these links. So because if you uh, create a new slice, I mean you can export more than just one artboard by creating such a slice right here and drag it over to your screen. Um, you see that all of these artboards right now are in our like slice, but those links want, in, uh, want export. So that would be awesome if Sketch would implement this feature. Another amazing thing would be to record what we did in our prototype right here. So I know this, that this feature is available, for example, in principle. And it would be awesome to just record the screens that we clicked, um, maybe even have some better and more advanced animation features or screen transition features that would be great. Uh, those are a few ideas that I want to, sh to shout out to you guys and to the sketch team. Um, anyway, it's an awesome thing. I'm looking forward to what other apps are going to do with it. So for example, Zeppelin, already uh, implemented the prototyping feature in their app and I'm sure they will bring out some other cool things with the prototyping very soon. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you learned a couple of new things even though this has been around for uh, I think two weeks now. Um, the next videos will be about cool other apps as well. So I got a request from a cool app called Banner Snack. They want me to uh, try out their app. This will be an upcoming video and I hope you enjoyed this one as well. I will try to make a video once every while when the new sketch update comes out and I hope you enjoyed that. So thanks for your time guys and I hope we see us in the next video. Bye! This video was sponsored by Death Mountain. If any of you are interested in learning UX design, Dev Mountain is a 12-week design bootcamp intended to get you a full-time job in the industry. You can learn more about this at devmountain.com or by clicking the link in the video description. Thanks for watching the video and we see us in the next one. Bye!